Good morning. It has been way too long since I have picked up the camera and I'm back you guys. I stepped away from vlogging quite a while ago and over the past couple of weeks, probably even a month, I've been thinking about doing it again. I just feel like I needed that time, that break in between to kind of rekindle the joy I had for it instead of it feeling like something I had to do. But I took a break and I feel refreshed and I'm back. Coming back with kind of a bang. I am on my way right now to go get John and I some coffee and then me and him are headed to Apopka, Florida for a three day staycation. We've got an Airbnb, we have um, a couple things like planned or a couple things we want to do and then some others are just ideas around that area. And then we also want to possibly look up and see if we can go to any estate sales over there. I'm really excited to get to spend time with John, just me and him. You know, no kids, just focusing on spending time together, having fun, and I think it is well deserved. But once I get some coffee, then I'm gonna go back home and we're just gonna wait for Kat to arrive and then we'll be headed on our way. I'm going this way. <laughs> to show all the stuff. See? Perfect. Yeah, it is. We'll buy our own kayaks. We can just spend a day out here for ten dollars. Right. And you can bring whatever you want on your kayak. We just made it back to the truck. We had a blast kayaking. It was so much fun. Water was so clear. Although I'm pretty sure we both burnt like the tops of our legs because for some reason we didn't think to put SPF on our legs. Just and now in time. I know just in time. It is coming down. Look at the rain. Can you see it? I don't think you can see it yet. Oh, well, you could probably hear it on the roof of the truck. Look at all these people, though. 
clear that we got front row parking when we first got here. We made it all the way to the end because we didn't know if you're where you were supposed to park and then ended up getting like right in the front parking and we leave right before it starts storming. It's like really lucky. And the water was beautiful. Beautiful. I did most of the vlogging on my phone while we were in the water and we even got a little dry box for you know when we get our own kayaks and we can come or when we take the boat out. And now we have about a 17 minute drive to the Airbnb. We just made it. It's a little bit rainy still. It's really cute and it's on like land so they have like horses sometimes. I don't see any right now but She's even got like a little thing to like, if you bring dogs, like this is a really pet friendly Airbnb. Lighting's not so great. Like the, these front ones are really orange, but I think it's the type of light bulb. But they have cute little like dog bowl, dog brush. You got the fridge and stuff right there. Kitchen, obviously. Everything is just so cute. She's got coffee, mugs, regular kitchen stuff, my stuff, and then we even went through these and she's got like, it stopped. Like, last Airbnb we were at where it was not like this. Just so nice. And then you have the little dining area. She's even got like a little horse rules, like the rules for the horses, glasses and cups. And then this little like guidebook is so cute so they have rules house rules pet rules and then local shopping for pets um here's the thing that i really liked dining she puts like restaurants you can go to and that's such a neat idea like it's so sweet and then off of the dining room you have the living room and they have internet roku they even have games that you can play. And it's just so cute. Recliners. A chase. With a little horse on it. And then back here is the two bedrooms. Obviously we're just going to use this one. But this is the main bedroom. With like artwork and stuff. And then there's even like a washer and dryer. And then next to the bed you have a dresser and a mirror and then the bathroom she puts a little basket this is so cute with towels hand towels the works another mirror and then the second bedroom is attached to the bathroom as well and this is actually like a trundle bed so i think she it says that it'll be a king but i don't know how to do it plus it's just me and him so we're not really gonna use this bedroom but it's cute you got a little desk these look like real hardwood floors this is so much better than the first airbnb that we tried in daytona which i think i vlogged that as well but that one was okay like they obviously made it to where you can stay there but this one is actually like it feels so homey and really really nice i love it oh and i'll show you guys the front like porch area like look at the little doggy door it's a little rainy, but they have a little porch area. And then, like, that's obviously where they take the horses. And it's just really spacious. I'm super impressed. I love it. But now we need to shower. We are soaking wet from kayaking. It was so much fun. I don't know what we're going to do after we shower, but we need a shower. I feel a lot better. Now that I am clean, and I think we just made a plan to do just dinner and a movie, and I think we're trying to decide what between seafood and the steakhouse. Yes? Yeah. Yes. And he's reading through. Um, she has this little book, and it's a bunch of, I showed you guys earlier, but it's got even like guest stuff in it, like reviews, like handwritten ones. Because this lady that um, does the Airbnb, she's a super host, I guess. She even had like 92 reviews on Airbnb. Good reviews too. And you can tell when you walk in how much effort she puts in. It's just really, really nice and cozy and homey. 
John said it gives off um, cabin vibes, but also um, farmhouse vibes. I just noticed that I probably should have or could have done without the uh, blush because I got a tiny bit sunburnt. Like you can even tell right there from where my dress was. Just a tiny bit sunburnt. Look at him over there being all cute. <laughs> Looks pretty snazzy. Okay, so which one did look good? Whichever one. We could do the hibachi, the steak, or the catfish place. I'm gonna do the steakhouse. Okay. It sounds good and it looks fancy and I'm wearing a pretty dress. Let's do dinner and then we'll go see if we can find a movie to get into. Okay. Let's go. dinner and we went to see the movie I think it was called the black phone it's a horror movie it was so good I was pleasantly surprised I wanted to go see Elvis John really wasn't here for it so uh, we looked at what else they had and they had a horror movie and I I love horror so we went with that one Ethan Hawke did an amazing job this movie was so good it even made John jump a handful of times like really really good but I am ready to get in some comfy clothes because as cute as this dress is it's uncomfortable so let's see what i can do much better i am now comfy and i'm ready to relax even though it is literally only like 9 30 so i don't know if we're gonna watch some tv maybe watch another movie or even plan out what we want to do tomorrow but that is going to be about it for today's vlog I hope you guys enjoyed, and if you did, make sure you click the subscribe button down below, and I will see you guys in my next one. Bye, you guys.